good morning dear students we will be starting with a new lesson from our history portion lesson number 5 mass media and history we've seen the link between history and indian arts in the previous lesson let's see now how mass media and history are closely connected i hope all of you all have your textbooks open children page number 32 introduction mass media contains two words mass in its context means an aggregation of people aggregation total number of media means various modes of communication thus mass media is a field of mass communication mass communication where a lot of people can be communicated with all right so there is a lot of people that we can communicate with at the same time we can easily send some information to a far away destination through a medium of communication in the olden days a crier would run in the streets beating drums and crying out important news according to the orders of the king in olden days especially in a crowded place or a common place where people would meet uh, in a market place all right you would have one particular person who would be the messenger for the king and he would read out um, the orders commands that the king has to give to the people all right so this is how communication was done in the earlier times the news would spread among the people by word of mouth after who, all those who have been at the uh, common place the market place they would afterwards uh, you know spread the message by speaking to the others okay history of mass media printing technology and newspapers were introduced in india after the arrival of the british so we started our um printing of newspapers only after the british had arrived in india till then the old method of where a messenger would carry the news in a common place was carried out people started receiving printed news through newspapers newspapers became the first mass medium of circulating information and knowledge among people so this was the first type of mass media where people at a large scale could be given information at the same time newspapers newspaper is a publication which mainly prints news editorials people's opinions entertaining or other supplementary content it is printed and distributed regularly at a definite time all of you all i'm sure have uh, delivery of newspapers at your houses okay so a newspaper becomes a very essential part of communicating with the people not only about political and social issues but also issues dealing with entertainment dealing with um, you know current affairs so it is also a way of where people can make their opinions known to others okay so you have this one column where you have a uh, letters to the editor okay so that is also printed where people can raise up their voices against certain concerns certain opinions that they want to share with others okay newspapers provide various local national and international news this we are all aware of newspapers are historical documents which record current events now obviously today is going to be yesterday all right so it becomes the past and when you are writing down certain events certain uh, you know uh, things that take place so when you are writing it down it is a way of recording what has happened and recording things that have happened that become past later on is a way of recording historical documents historical events precursors of newspapers now here what is the meaning of a precursor something that comes before all right the forerunner of before the beginning of the common era there was a custom in egypt of placing inscriptions with royal decrees at public places what is a decree it is either a command or an order by the king all right so if the king wanted to communicate with the people with his subjects this is how it was done emperor ashoka also resorted to similar methods or to reach out to his subjects 
in the roman empire royal decrees were written on papers and those were distributed in all regions they also contained the information of various events taking place in the nation and its capital so slowly uh, not only were the orders and commands of the kings noted and given to the people but also the daily happenings of people the events that take place that too was recorded and given out for the people to read to communicate with during julius caesar's reign newspapers known as acta diurna meaning acts of every day used to be placed at public places in rome now julius caesar obviously a roman general okay at that time uh, he had uh, started this newspaper all right it was during his reign rather where it was known as acta di acta diurna where it means acts of every day whatever happens during the common life of the people okay it was recorded and written down and documented and it was placed at various places where people would congregate or to meet up or gather and this was uh, you know handed out to the people for information sake for communication sake it was a very effective way of conveying royal commands to the people in the 7th century ce royal dictates were distributed among people at public places in england handouts used to be distributed occasionally giving information about wars or important events now all this is just telling us how before newspapers really began to be uh, printed out okay giving information not only about local but also national and international news this was how uh, it began slowly travelers arriving from far away would add spice to stories from those places and narrate it to the local people the ambassadors of a king ambassadors the good um, you know so in case uh, a person okay a person would go and stay in a different country altogether where uh, he would have to uh, sh you know have peaceful relations with that particular king so that where he belongs to his native king and the king that he is currently in uh, contact with would have peaceful relations so how to send back information to the king to say that things are fine or things are a little tense okay that also bringing back of important news to the royal court was also a way of sending news to communicate the bengal gazette the first english newspaper of india was printed on the 29th of january 1780 i hope all of you all have underlined this it was named as calcutta general advertiser uh, sorry the advertiser or bengal gazette it was started by james augustus hickey an irish gentleman all right so we get to see that our very first english newspaper was uh printed in the year 1780 which means that the british were already established have established themselves in india the british came to india in the year 1608 okay so later on we get to see how uh the printing of newspapers started and it was started by an irish gentleman named james augustus hickey the next paper we start with is the darpan The newspaper Darpan was started in 1832 please underline in Mumbai Bal Shastri Jambekar was the first uh, sorry was the editor of this paper all right very important person the news printed in Darpan can be reviewed to know about the political economic social and cultural events of those times so see how slowly from only giving out commands and orders of the king we have started to include various other aspects of human life okay talking about political social life economic life cultural events that have taken place and how uh this was actually a marathi paper the first marathi paper all right and very important bal shastri jambekar was its editor now there are few titles given to us here that were already printed in the paper which gives us an idea of how uh, you know various other aspects of human life were included and communicated to the common people
The first one is the accounts of the expenditure from the three administrative divisions of the East India Company. We knew the British were already established in India. The danger of the Russian attack on the nation. Appointment of a committee for cleanliness of the city. Remarriage of Hindu widows. The inception of theatre at Calcutta inception. The establishment of achievements of Raja Ram Mohan Roy in England. All these various titles okay tell us or they throw light on various historical events in those days now bal shastri jambekar is referred to as the first editor okay by virtue of his being the editor for the first marathi newspaper his birth date is 6th of jan and it is observed in maharashtra as uh, patrakar din which means uh, the journalist's day Prabhakar, this newspaper was started by Bhau Mahajan. Okay, please underline that. The history of French Revolution and Shatpatre, the letters of Lokhit Vadi, that is Gopal Hari Deshmukh, aimed at creating social awareness, were published in this newspaper. Okay, so. Uh, we see here that this paper was started by Bhau Mahajan, all right, and we see that it also printed out uh, various uh, news about the French Revolution and also about letters of Lokhit Vadi, that is Gopal Hari Deshmukh. Okay, so which means that it was giving out or it created social awareness among people. Okay, the next newspaper that we start with is Nyanodai. This was a very um, important paper in terms of the fact that it printed out the map of Asia in the year 1842 and the map of Europe in 1851. The honor of printing an illustration in an Indian newspaper for the first time goes to Nyanodai. So they, are, they have the honor of saying that we were the first uh, you know, newspaper that had printed out uh, a picture, a picture of the map, all right, which no other paper had done uh, till date. The news of installation of the telegraph used for electrically transmitting a news can be seen in Nyanodai. The news of the starting of new railways in India was printed in Nyanodai under the title Chakya Masoba, which means Masoba with wheels. A Masoba is uh, a holy bull, okay, uh, so a buffalo, I'm sorry, which uh, tells us that it was a very, um, you know, it gives us a headline saying that the railways have started, which means like, you know, there's going to be progress and a bull running. So it gives us, you know, the, the fact that the attractive titles for headlines was given at this time okay which tells us that you know the uh, progress that has been made in the printing of news as well as news articles it has also printed the news of the indian war of independence of 1857 all of you are well aware that uh, the war of 1857 played a very important role in the freedom struggle of india Alright, so for them to print it out in a newspaper so that people from far and wide could read and be aware and also learn to participate in the freedom struggle for India. Newspapers in those times were a very important medium for creating social awareness. A newspaper named Indru, Indu Prakash supported widow remarriage in a big way. So we see that newspapers not only... Uh, you know were a medium of communication but also after the communication the information that the people received was a way of them being aware of the social conditions of the society and also to create awareness about how it is impacting the life of social of uh, man at that time what changes that needed to be made okay next we have is Deen Bandhu, a newspaper representing the masses of the Indian society, Bhaujan Samaj, was started by Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule's very close associate, Krishna Rao Bhalekar. I want all of you all to underline that. We get to know about the issues relating to the masses through this paper. So we have one more paper that is Deen Bandhu, which also talks about 
uh, the Indian society all right and how we get to know more and more information about the society around us or this uh, the life of man Kesari and Maratha now all of you I'm pretty sure are well aware of these two newspapers these two newspapers are indicative of an important stage in history of Indian newspapers before independence now these two newspapers played a very important role not only in uh, you know bringing out information or communicating with the people but also making them aware of what the situation uh, India was facing at that time with the rule of the British in India uh, Gopal Ganesh Agarkar and uh, Bal Gangadhar Tilak started these newspapers in the year 1881 they spoke about the social and political issues of that period. Kesari began to publish articles about the nationwide situation, books in the native languages and the politics in uh, England. So we get to see how much these newspapers played an important role, especially during the time when we were fighting for our independence. It spoke about how the society was being affected all the political uh, you know policies that the britishers were bringing out at that time how unfair it was for the indians and also how he learned to voice his opinion so that the people would be aware of the injustice being done to them in the 21st century newspapers have continued to fulfill an important role it was acknowledged as the fourth column of democracy. So we see that newspapers as a medium of communication still exists. We still have people buying newspapers at a large scale because from the time it started till now we get to see that we have uh, you know progressed as well as how much information can be gained through this uh, medium of communication also it becomes so much more accessible for people who do not have uh, maybe you know um, the facility of a TV or a radio at home the newspaper becomes so much more common it because it's a cheap me medium of communication all right and it is also known as the fourth column of democracy what are the other three columns of democracy that is legislature executive as well as judiciary okay now we come to magazines and journals magazines and journals are periodical publications what do you mean by periodical publications that means after a period of time they are published again okay this category includes publications which are weekly bi-weekly monthly bi-monthly quarterly six monthly and annual now all these are after a period of time where they publish that particular magazine or journal and people who subscribe for it okay can be given an a copy of it there may be some chronicles which are published at no fixed time what are what do you mean by a chronicle children it's nothing but a factual written account of some event that might have taken place okay so some may have only a weekly ed uh, issue or maybe a monthly issue but some are whenever you feel like there is uh, an important event that needs to be communicated to the masses that's when you have these published Bal Shastri Jambekar started the first monthly magazine in Marathi again very important man when you talk about him being a journalist therefore his birthday is also celebrated as world uh, sorry journalist day it was named Digdarshan among the periodicals Pragati now a defunct journal defunct no longer in, in function was started and edited by Triambak Shankar Shez, Shezwalkar he wrote regularly in this historical journal of Maharashtra's history and social movements. So we see that there have been a lot of uh, journals and magazines that want to communicate to the people. Also, we see that some are related to uh, historical uh, events where people want to communicate their thoughts, their experiences okay, and their opinions. Currently, there are many periodicals devoted to Indian history. Marathi journals such as Bharatiya Itihas Ani Sanskriti and Marathwada Itihas Parishad Patrika may be cited as examples. So these two 
uh, are uh, journals which are only to deal with historical events okay to talk about indian history how we have progressed from the ancient times till now okay so with this children we end with part 1 i hope all of you all read this much okay and we will continue with part 2 in our next session thank you children till then have a wonderful day